you're watching HQ BMW. We got Stone up on the quick jacks and ready to do some suspension work. But I have a dilemma. I'm not sure I want to put the air suspension system in the M3. Why? Well, one of the reasons is it's a lot of work to install the complete system. I know I have lots of time. I have all winter season to do the install. Um, one of the deterrents is the cold garage. It's not pleasant working out here in the middle of the winter even with the heater the concrete's still cold and just not pleasant to work on so that's a bit of a deterrent but honestly i'm kind of leaning towards i want to try out some coilovers this time for the m3 i think the coilovers would be a little more suiting for the actual uh, sportiness of the M3 and how it's going to handle so or I can go with some regular springs and drop it and get some really good uh, high performance struts and just drive it like that I'm so on the fence I don't know what to do you guys drop a comment below let me know what you guys think should I go with the full air suspension or should I sell the air suspension and put the coilovers in? I don't know what to do. I'm really torn. But while I think about that and while we process that, um, I'm going to ultimately let you guys decide down below. So drop a comment. Let me know. Air suspension, coilovers, or springs. And what would you guys like to see? But today... The car I broke, we're going to try and get her fixed. I'm not driving it, it's just being stored, but it's still warm outside, it's pretty nice. So I would rather be out in the garage in a t-shirt, it is 15 degrees in the garage, which is pretty warm, the concrete's fairly cold, but it's still pleasant in here to have a t-shirt on and we can work on pebbles. So I'm not going to bore you guys with any of the content. I'll just, I'll show you guys what we broke, but I'm not going to show you how to fix it or the DIYs because from previous vlogs, nobody wants to see anything about the Versa, but that's what I'm working on today. So I just thought I'd let you know and I'm going to get to it. So like I said, drop a comment below. Let me know which one would you guys choose. Okay. Didn't bore you guys with this, but... You can see this ball joint, it, uh, it, it it's, it's a little loose. Uh, I think, I think it broke when we, phew, over the railroad tracks. Um, I think the only thing holding it on is that this rubber piece right here. Because when you look at the brand new one, it doesn't move at all so yeah I think we really broke it but we got new parts for both sides um, I'm gonna replace both sides at the same time as well as I'm gonna need do new brakes just cuz I'm in there anyway and it's safe so let's get this new one in it was only 20 bucks on Rock Auto super cheap fix and yeah if we ever need to drive pebbles, it, it'll be ready to go and all fixed up and safe is the key word, safe. It's also got winter tires on it, so if we really have to, I can drive it and we'll be able to boogie around. So I'm going to get this changed. Keep watching and don't forget to drop a comment below. Other side's out. And... It's not as bad as the left side, but um, it's getting there. 
It's a good thing I'm replacing both. The inner bushings look okay. This one looks okay too. So we'll get the other side changed and then get the brakes changed as well. I'll show you everything torn apart just so you know what has to come apart to do this job. So this control arm goes up in here and this end ball joint sits up in this hole right here. We got the rotor off and the brakes out, the caliper holder and the brakes are actually fairly new so they don't really need to be replaced but I got all this stuff out and we already got new pads and rotor so let's get them changed all fresh new parts new rotor new brake pads new control arm No more banging around. ready to go. Parked it back outside between the garages. Uh, I have some pretty awesome neighbors that let me keep the pebbles in between the two garages. They have kind of a pad with uh, cinder blocks there and I just have parked it there. Ran an electrical cord out and it's on a battery tender. It's got fuel stabilizer in it and now it's all fixed. So if we need to drive it or if we need to use it for any reason, it's ready to go and uh, hopefully no more jumping uh, railroad tracks and all that fun stuff. I'll show you guys one reason why I am super pro for installing the airbag setup. One, our alley, it's not paved, it's gravel. Because it's gravel, this is what happens to the alley and it's probably been like this for a year or longer. I've called the city to try and have it fixed but most of my friends with lowered cars can't make it through the alley. It's hard to represent how drastic these bumps are in the alley but that's one reason I'm kind of pro putting the air suspension in because I'll be able to maneuver the car around the city a little easier. I imagine with the coilovers I probably could get used to uh, you know finagling my way around and getting through which probably would be okay but I don't know like I said I'm really having a dilemma on what we're gonna do to stone. Uh, I got a few months still to figure it out and decide what we're gonna do, but drop a comment. I'm gonna do a poll on my Instagram as well. So if you follow me on Instagram, you can go and comment there as well, but we'll get to the bottom of it. And at some point, stone will be lowered. Be no more monster truck wheel gap. We'll get rid of all that. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Kinda just a day in a life of HQ BMW and the cars. I'll just show you guys. This, this is where Pebbles is stored for the winter time. 
So, like I said, my neighbors are super great in letting me store the vehicles there. And then Stone and Mel stay in the garage. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Please like, comment, subscribe. Peace. Thank you.